Sad state of affairs. It really is. We're going to have an in-depth conversation about this article I just found was just published October 20th, 2021, and it tries to tell you how to be a hell's angel. Coming up... Before we begin, don't forget to uh, go over on Instagram, follow us over there, have different content over there as well as Roku on the 29th, we're told at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, it should be up on the air. All you have to do is go ahead and add the channel on your Roku. It's going to have a lot of good stuff on there, a lot of good stuff. So in the coming days when I make sure it's up, we'll be talking about it don't hit forget to hit that subscribe button and follow us here on youtube as well this article i think actually burnt the hair on my ass it was funny the other day black dragon put up a meme it had the picture of the sons of anarchy and it said on the top if you didn't earn it don't wear it. Club life is real. I think I'm personally getting sick of the Sons of Anarchy taking the blame for something adults should find as common sense. It is not real, okay? I get it. Things change. You have to evolve the whole nine yards. I say it all the time on my channel. We cover news. We do interviews on subject, real life subjects that bring a lot of interest into the scene. We're going to be covering a lot of rally stuff. That is hard news. It's real life. We try to put up the good, but there's also a lot of bad. And you got people that cry and whine like a bunch of schoolgirls about it. What I find more damaging, because they say, well, don't propagate the, the news and might go away stuff. Or the famous one, it's clickbait, don't read it. When it's actually based in fact. Protocol channels. And I'm talking about all of them because you know what, there's been so many people that are trying to give advice on how to join a motorcycle club, how to start a motorcycle club. It's hard to keep up with all the different opinions everybody has. That's their platform, cool. At least put a disclaimer or something on it that this ain't real life. This might not happen in your area. Now what I'm seeing is articles popping up like this one where they're actually trying, and they're serious about it, trying to tell you how to join the Hells Angels. Well, here's what I got for you. And this includes every club out there. You're not learning nothing, absolutely nothing, about MCs on the internet. You have to take the first step and go to a club and ask them. You're only going to find out from them. Well, these protocol channels saved my life. Come on, man, really? Are you telling me you don't got the cojones to walk up to a club and talk like a man. It's a very simple question because joining a club, you got to be a man. So you're saying that the stuff you're seeing all over these protocol channels is what saved your life in the streets? Everybody likes advice everybody likes giving advice but again you're not gonna learn anything until you go up to the people there's a lot of times
people get on me because I'll always say, well, stay independent or go a riding club something, stay out of an MC. Why do I do that? As I explained in many videos, many segments, I believe if you have to ask something like that, you're wasting the motorcycle club's time. Because you're ignorant. You have to go to somebody like me who gives no care in the world about you for advice. That don't, it, 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 that's, it amazes me. And I think it's time to have a hard talk about something like this. Because this article, you know what, let me go to this article real quick and show you what I'm talking about. Vintage News, this came out October 20th, 2021. Want to be a hell's angel. And I looked up the numbers on this article. It's going batshit crazy with people looking at it. You really think you're going to get advice from the vintage news? How to join the hell's angels? Are you crazy? It's just like when I put up the other day about would you join a motorcycle club where the leadership didn't prospect and some of the responses i got back were like oh my god are you serious well what about the uh, original clubs they had to start somewhere and uh, people didn't have the prospect <sighs> would you look at the history i know it's hard for a lot of people to do research or know their history. A lot of them clubs started as race teams. Meaning, you had to go through some process to become a member of that race team. It might have not have been the same thing as it is today with the hang around prospect. It could have been, but maybe it ain't. But I do know you had to go through some kind of a process to become a member of that team. So yes, them old clubs did do something when they first started off. The Hells Angels, for example, a member of the pissed off Bastards of Purdue or Bloomington started the HA that you know now. So yeah, he went through a prospect period. You see where I'm getting at how ignorance is really bliss? Why would you want to put yourself in a situation where you heard an opinion that can actually get you hemmed up in a catch-22 on the streets? Never understood that. And that's exactly what's going to happen to you if you follow an article like this. Want to be a hell's angel? Read the rules and regs of anarchy first. So you want to be a hell's angel, huh? We're not going to lie to you. It's a tough life. When you're not burning rubber, you're losing teeth down the freeway. You're not going to lie to your readers. It's a tough life. How would you know? Did you go through the hang-around period? Did you go through the prospect period? Are you a member of the Hells Angels writing this article? If you are not, you're already lying. So how you can come back and say, we're not going to lie to you. You already are, because you're not a member. You are trying to Make it romantic, your article, so you do get the views. And you go through a top ten list. It's a hellish democracy. Once you're a hell's angels, it's a lifetime commitment. Do you know that? Are you in there? Have you read their bylaws? A vote ultimately determines whether you're one of the gang. Well, I can already tell you, you're not a member or never wore a patch or never went through prospect because you're calling it a gang.
the insignia crowd this is number nine there's an insignia. Once you've earned the famous wing skull and logo on your back, your black shiny vest, it's part of who you are. Not even a serious injury can get it removed. So what are you uh, implying that this is a prison gang now? You using prison rules? People are actually reading this because it's a hot article. Just look at the numbers, man. It's hot. People want to belong to something so bad that they'll run to articles like this and think that's the right way of doing it. And in essence, that's what's going to get you a dotted eye is reading something like this. Grow up and show up. Attendance is encouraged. If you get sloppy, you're handed your marching orders? Who wrote this? Steve Pallas. Steve Pallas. There you go. You really want to take your advice from a writer, journalist, and a comedian? Really? A dude like this? That's who you're going to take your advice from. Harley Davidson is king. Keep it buttoned. They're a little behind times. Mostly white and exclusively male. Doesn't mention in there that Hispanics are allowed, does it? Grammar don't matter. Stay mean and keep clean. Lawbreakers, not lawmakers? That's the kind of stuff that people are watching or looking at as far as the clubs are gone. Now, could this be a funny article? No, I don't think so. I think this dude actually believes it. And isn't that a sad state of affairs? It's all right, I guess, to give your opinion on what you would do in a situation. But some of these channels and some of these articles are really going overboard. I heard a creator say, Well, YouTube's my bread and butter. Doesn't that tell you something? Really, doesn't it tell you something? It sure to hell ain't your safety they're worried about. It ain't about educating you. It's really all about the money. Especially if they want to wrap it up in a nice bow. And make you think... That this is the way things go. That ain't educating you because you know what? You're not getting the bad side of the game. It is a man's world. You know, I know a lot of people get mad when I say it's a man's world, but it really is. No wonder how P or how much you get PC with it. That's what it comes down to. There's rules that were established a long time ago. Traditions that were established a long time ago. No matter how you feel about it, that's the way it is. You can complain on the internet all you want. But that ain't going to change the fact when you go live in person. Clubs ain't going to change for you. Clubs aren't going to change with the times. They're going to do them. Hopefully, that gives you a little viewpoint for me. If you're going to do biker entertainment, at least basic 
on some factual information. That's what I have to say, because you know what? There's so many people out there trying to get advice on the clubs this, clubs that. Then get butt hurt when it's in the news. Well, oh, wait a second. There's a different angle to this. People don't like that. It hurts what they're doing. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Very interesting discussion. Let me know what you guys think about the article. I'm going to put the link in the description box for that article so you guys can go over there, check it out, and see how stupid it really is. But keep in mind, there are actually people that believe that article. Yeah, it's sad. And it's pretty sad that Sons of Anarchy ended years ago and it's still being blamed for the stupidity of what's happening in the biker scene. It kind of gets old. If you don't know what you show, then you're dumb. You're ignorant. You shouldn't even buy riding a motorcycle. That's what I'd say. Again, don't forget to go over there to Instagram. I'm really learning how to use that thing. Check that out at Official Insane Throttle. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Roku is coming out, baby. I'm looking forward to that one. Going to be at a lot of covering events uh, this coming year. It's going to be just a good old time. Plus, you'll be able to see the Morning Hoot with China Dow and myself over on there. And it's uncensored. Rock and roll. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.